सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वेन एवर यू टेक अ सिल्क क्लॉथ ओके टेक अ सिल्क क्लॉथ एंड रब इट अगेंस्ट टीच अदर देर इज अ फायर दैट विल कम आउट फ्रॉम द सिल्क देर इज फायर फिल्ड इन साइड द सिल्क एंड दैट इज द रीजन हु एवर वेयर सिल्क क्लॉथ फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ डूइंग पूजा Imagine you are wearing silk clothes and walking from your home to a temple. You might encounter a person who is going through sutak, isn't it? If you are wearing silk, then the man with sutak won't affect you because the good vibrations from that cloth have the ability to nullify any negative frequencies that might encounter. And that is why it is known as sacred. And then comes the winter clothes, woolen clothes. In the olden times, if you see the photos or pictures of old maharajas, he would be wearing a woolen attire from top to bottom right from the cap to the coat their clothes are also known as sacred when you want to sit on the floor if you sit on a woolen cloth the gravitation force of earth will not be able to pull down your frequencies towards itself your energy will be protected and that is the reason we wear woolen clothes when we are doing jap so that the power of jap would not be pulled down by the earth If you are sitting on a normal cloth or a stone then there will be poverty the same goes for a wooden plank whenever you sit you have to sit on an asan whenever you are doing a jap also when you are sitting you have to use an asan you cannot sit directly on the floor there must be something on which you are sitting in the olden times when guest used to come at our house we used to say get chatai ha huh? But why do we use a chatai or a mattress for the guest? The reason is the mattress is made of conch grass or hafa grass which has the power to act in opposition of the gravitational pull and that is the reason whatever hard work you do your body is always making energy and that energy can go directly down to the earth if there is no wooden plank between you and the earth if there is no protection and you put your hand inside electric current what will happen and if you are standing on a wooden plank and you touch electricity then what will happen nothing will happen that means some things are good conductors of the energy of the earth while some things are bad conductors and bad conductors protect us from the earth's negative energy and clothes are among one of them for example humans couldn't humans stay naked forever i can show you different and many types of temples where even today the goddess is not wearing a blouse because gods do not wear all these but we humans have a problem in our sight and that is why only when the world is wearing clothes we find it acceptable if someone is naked there are wrong thoughts in our minds but in sense of clothes we do not wear clothes to cover ourselves this is all in your mind that we are wearing clothes to cover our bodies that we are now civilized and that is why we wear clothes that's what you think right you are wearing clothes because you are civilized isn't it What do you think ha huh? We wear clothes to energize our bodies now in clothes for example in cotton if you put cotton in fire what will happen ha huh? that is because the cotton that catches fire has positive vibrations to it you try this with the stone ha huh? So whenever you mix colors with your clothes then it increases or decreases its value now for example this person here is wearing red Now if he wears red for 365 days so if you see the people from Kalmath these are the devotees of Bhagwati and they only wear red if you wear red for 365 days you will have a certain aggression or glow what will you have if for 365 days you are wearing white then you will have love and pity to you that color has that power If you wear white for 365 days then there will be a feeling inside you that I should help others or work for others. And if you wear black it will give you such vengeful feelings. Nowadays people are wearing black much more frequently. Also the kids nowadays always wear black. Ha? Huh? You see who wears black in the TV series? In the TV serials you might see a man wearing black. Now who is that man? Huh? Now someone is saying villain, someone is saying ghost. So what that means is there is no person who is good that is wearing black color. Isn't that clear? So no good man is wearing black, then why are you wearing black? So tell me, why are umbrellas black in color? Why are umbrellas black in color? Do you know why umbrellas are black in color? 
when you go out in the sun you should be protected from the sun that is why umbrellas exist isn't it now when you are out in the sun and you are holding a black umbrella then that umbrella absorbs all the heat from the sun and keeps you cold and that is the reason whenever you carry a black umbrella you will always be chilled but instead if you carry a white umbrella you will feel the heat black color absorbs all the frequencies inside itself so whenever you go out wearing black clothes the people who are watching you with wrong intentions or bad intentions in their sight all the negative energy that is present will be absorbed inside you and you will be affected the color black will always keep you in sadness it will never give you happiness because black color absorbs now if you wear white and go outside white color will reflect isn't it if you are wearing white and going out it will be shining all the way can black color do that it can't you know why because black color absorbs the light inside and your eyes won't get the reflections and white color is exactly opposite white color throws the frequencies outwards so when white color throws out the frequencies our eyes blink and that is the reason we have to always wear white now you will think that maharaj you are a big saint and that is why it is possible for you but how it is possible for us we are still young then you start wearing light colors what will you do a little bit of light colors can help you you might say that we still don't have that kind of maturity that we wear white the whole time then you start wearing colors like light orange or light yellow that is how colors impact your life